Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you're all staying safe and staying sane uh, <laughs> during this really strange and scary time. Um, please stay home if you can. If you are an essential worker or you are, you know, being forced to work right now or have to work right now um, outside of your home, you are a hero and I hope that you are just staying safe as much as possible and I'm sorry that you have to go through this but anyway um what I wanted to do today was do some memory keeping so if you saw my last um my flip through of my memory keeping book memory planner whatever you want to call it um you you probably saw that I haven't done much of anything as far as memory keeping in 2020 um and I mean that's kind of fitting right um for the past you know now it's been over a month well over a month um there hasn't been much to memory keep so i did have some some good things happen um at the start of this year and i just never sat down and you know did any memory keeping <clears throat> the only thing that i had uh done as far as memory keeping for 2020 prior to doing this page was just like I just wrote a journal entry when I got tickets to see My Chemical Romance, which is my favorite band. And that's for September, and I'm pretty sure that show is not happening now. So, um, but you know, it'll happen. It'll happen eventually. But anyway, I really wanted to go back. You know, my anxiety was starting to get to me. I was feeling really depressed and down because of this whole situation, this pandemic, naturally. Um, and so I just wanted to kind of, you know, sit down and try to get my mind off of things and think back to the good times, the things that happened prior to all this going down. And I started just looking through my phone using my Polaroid Zip, not a sponsor, <laughs> printer. And uh, I love that printer because, you know, I can just pull up like I'm doing right now. I went on Instagram, took a screenshot and I can just print something, you know, just like that. It's very simple. There's no ink. So you just put the paper in. Um, it has like a little blue card that it reads to calibrate the color and everything. And uh, then your picture comes out just like that. So I really, really enjoy that printer. I got it for my birthday a couple years ago and I believe it's like a hundred dollars or something and you can always, you know, find a coupon or find a deal. Highly recommend it. The quality, just as a heads up, the quality of the photos is not the best. It's not as good as what I've seen. People um, have like the Canon selfie printers and you know all other types of printers. But for me, like the ease of use just kind of outweighs all that. And the fact that the paper itself, you know, they're stickers and they're perfectly sized for these boxes. You know, if you have a big uh, happy memory keeping book or happy planner, um, the photos fit perfectly. They're three by two. You know, they fit right in the box. Um, so for me, they just, they really work very well. And uh, I just think it's super easy and super fun. And if I just like think of something randomly, I can just print it with the app. And it comes right out just like I did here. I had one extra space and I was like, I want something for, you know, mythical and for, you know, I'm a big fan of Rhett and Link and all of their stuff and you know mythical chef josh and <clears throat> and uh, nicole and and everybody um it's really been getting me through this time it's just been watching a lot of uh gmm listening to a lot of ear biscuits i was actually listening to ear biscuits while i was doing this um and it's just really helped to kind of get my mind off of things and keep me laughing keep my spirits up and so I really wanted to print something um, to represent that. So I went on their Instagram and found their picture where they posed, you know, in their Be Your Mythical Best shirts in front of the Be Your Mythical Best thing. So, um, and so here I'm just using the colorful boxes. You've seen me use that a lot. It's that very first colorful boxes book. I don't have the most recent one. I'm still using the OG one. I haven't bought a new sticker book in quite some time. I'm just really trying to use um, 
use up what I have and just kind of save my money um, for other things. But I'm using the colorful boxes and then using the little um, month stickers that are in the Happy Memory Keeping Dates and Holidays book. And I just wanted to put, I didn't want to put a specific date, just wanted to put what month the event happened. And so those first two are from February. The first one is my husband and I ice skating, which is something that I've got to give him total credit for because I never would have done that. I never would have gone ice skating because I was terrified and thought I was going to fall down, like break my leg. But he forced me out of my comfort zone and I really, really enjoyed it. So I printed that. That was in February. It almost feels like a dream, like looking back at this stuff and seeing that you like were able to go places and do things like <laughs> it just seems like a dream at this point. Like some kind of like alternate reality or something. The second photo is from our um, Valentine's Day dinner at Longhorn Steakhouse. So him and I went. It's one of our favorite places to go. We can't wait to be able to go back. Um, hopefully sometime this year, maybe for Christmas, who knows, but um, we just went and celebrated Valentine's Day together. And so that's what the uh, the second picture actually made a collage of two photos there of us having our drinks. And um, the third one was for March. And that was actually like the day before I got sick. Um, not with COVID-19, but I just got sick. And um, <clears throat> after that, this whole thing kind of blew up and the stay at home order started. So. That, when I look at that picture of my two bubble teas, yeah, I had two bubble teas. Um, I don't have any regrets. I love bubble tea so much, like so much. I miss it <laughs> a lot. I've been like reading about how to make it at home and I just haven't ordered the stuff to make it. Um, but just looking at that, just, I don't know. It makes me sad because it's like, that was right before everything went down and I spent the day in Philadelphia with my husband and our friend, and it was just a good time. Uh, so I wanted to, you know, print that picture of my two bubble teas, um, just to kind of remember that. And, you know, when all this is over, I'm definitely gonna go back there. Um, and again, the Be Your Mythical Best, I wanted to print that to represent that, you know, I've been uh, consuming a lot of mythical content during quarantine. It's keeping me sane. The middle picture down there, uh, is my kitties. It's three photos of my kitties. Um, my co-workers, I call them, because now that I'm working from home, they hang out with me 24-7. No matter where, you know, I bring the laptop, if I bring it into our office, one of them is in there with me. If I'm working from bed, <laughs> if I'm working, you know, wherever I'm working from, they're there. Um, so I wanted to print that just to remember, um, you know, some of the one of the positive things from this whole thing is uh, being able to spend more time with your immediate family and, you know, your pets. A lot of people have been saying, you know, they appreciate the extra time that they have with their pets right now. Being able to, you know, just have some quality time with them where you're normally at work. Um, so I wanted to remember that. I found that sticker that said sweet little face. And I was like, oh, my God, that's perfect for the picture of my kitties. Um, and that last picture on the bottom right <laughs> from the office, it just, I mean, it just kind of sums everything up. It's like, you know, we all thought 2020 was going to be our year. And I, I said it, you know, and in 2019, I was like, yeah, 2020 is going to be the year. I'm going to get my master's degree and I'm going to make things happen. And, you know, things are going to be great. And then, you know, the pandemic. Um, just trying to find humor in, in everything. You know, it's obviously COVID-19 is nothing to joke about, but um, you do have to try to find humor in these times in order to um, not go insane. So that's why I printed that one out. It just really kind of sums everything up. <laughs> so here I, uh, first I put down a perfect day sticker for the bubble tea, and then I found one that said delish, and I thought it was really cute. So I just peeled it up and put the delish sticker I did have to trim it a little bit because it was kind of long to fit in the colorful box. But I just put it right on top there. And uh, God, I could go for boba right now. Oh man. So um, I, I spent quite some time doing it. I really just took my time and 
use the time to kind of just kind of zone out and and really um, not think, you know, too hard about anything and not uh, dwell on on the negative and just think about the good times that I had before all this happened and think about the good times I'm going to have when it when it's over. Um, so it's very therapeutic for me to to do this. You see, I, uh, I, yeah, I was a little indecisive with that colorful box. I think I, like, a piece of the pink border had ripped off when I took the Perfect Day sticker off and it was driving me nuts. So, just put a new one down. You know me, just going nuts. Um, my camera, actually, my battery had died, so that's why it kind of jumped to where I had this banner and the, the numbers at the top. But I found those numbers in that book there, that One Canoe Two book that I got at Tuesday morning and they were just perfect. Um, and so on the back there, I wanted to take a few photos um, and kind of journal about, you know, about what's in the photos and about what happened. The, uh, you see the Persona 5 things I printed out over there. I'm gonna do a whole separate spread for that because I, I have a lot to, to write about, a lot I wanna say um, and remember about that. So I set those off to the side, but for these, I really just wanted to um, find a way to just kind of journal about what was going on. So in that first one at the top, um, obviously it's, pic you know, two pictures of me. It was my new hair. I won a contest at my salon that I go to. Um, this was back in early March. It was right before all this happened. Uh, I, I believe it was like March 6th that I uh, got my hair done. And uh, I, I won the contest and it was for a free cut and color. But the only catch was that they get to choose what they do. So I was really nervous about that. But um, I kind of, you know, she asked me, like, what are some colors that you like? What are some haircuts that you like? And I showed her some pictures and she said, OK, I've come up with something, I'm, you know. So I just went for it. I was I was a little nervous, but I was really excited because I've never done anything really fun with my hair before and always wanted to. So this was the perfect excuse. Uh, to just kind of jump in and go for it. And had I known I was going to be in quarantine, I probably would have done something even crazier, like rainbow hair or something. But <laughs> um, but yeah, I really love it. Obviously, the teal is fading some now because it's been you know well over a month, but it's still hanging strong. It's just my cut's kind of grown out some. I can't wait to get it kind of shaped up again. Then the second photo there, it's actually a collage of four photos you'll see. Um, again, that was right before all this went down. My husband and I went to a gala and had a really, really fun time. You know, got all dressed up, had some good food, um, got our faces painted, and it was just a good time. So I wanted to print that out and kind of write about that. And then uh, I obviously I used the long colorful boxes with the uh, kind of grid pattern on them so that I could journal next to the photos. Um, so I'm really excited to do that. I was trying to make sure my box was straight there. And that's why I was using the ruler too, to kind of help keep it straight. Then this third photo is from <laughs> The Last of Us Part Two. Uh, if you know me at all, you know that The Last of Us is one of my, if not my favorite game of all time. It's hard for me to, to just pick one, um, but it's, it's an amazing, it's an amazing game. So I'm really looking forward to part two. And I just wanted to write um, about my feelings about, you know, the, the fact that it was delayed and how I'm looking forward to playing it once all this is over and that I'm not angry about the delay. It's look, human lives and <laughs> a pandemic. It You know, that's a little bit more serious than a video game. So we'll get it when we get it. Um, but I just did. I wanted to document that. There's plenty to play in the in the meantime. I got a lot of stuff in my backlog that I can play while I'm waiting for The Last of Us to come out. <laughs> so, um, so I did have to trim the bottom of my photo because I didn't space it just right, but it ended up working out. Um, and then here's you know the finished product. I did add some some florals after my camera battery had died, uh, just kind of on the corners. But I really like how it turned out. Um, when I look at it, it makes me super happy, good memories, you know, it was very therapeutic again to do this, uh, and just kind of look at, you know, 
all the good things that happen and remember that good times will be coming in the future. And then there's the back and I'm so excited to start journaling. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you are, you know, staying safe during this crazy time. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.